The following program is a paid presentation for the all-new Banjo Fishing System. 22 years of bass fishing professionally. This bait is phenomenal. 26 casts, 26 stripes. You should have seen the expressions of the guy's face. Watch the bait. Bam, bam, bam. Wham, he gets it. It's just so lifelike. It's just it's amazing. Totally amazing. It outfishes everything. Crank baits, soft jerk baits, the spinner baits. Nothing moves like this that I have ever seen. It's incredible. This bait is phenomenal. Fishing with that banjo mana, it's down, it's gone, you got to fish. Only one lure can create this much excitement from discriminating professionals and fishermen everywhere. It's the all-new Banjo Minnow, the only lure ever that can make fish bite even when they're not hungry. First cast, bang. I got a nice smallmouth bass. First time I fished with that lure, uh, I limited out within two hours. There are times that I've also found when a Banjo Minnow will work when nothing else will. <laughs> and that's the part that amazed me. It's become my favorite lure, and if I've got people on the water that want to fish it, and if they don't produce, I, uh, I don't charge them. That's how much I believe in this lure. Why is there so much confidence in the banjo minnow? It's the only lure that zigs, zags, jumps, and dives in all directions, while it swims, wiggles, flutters with absolute random action. So lifelike is this illusion that it can trigger a genetic response that can literally make fish bite even when they're not hungry. If you don't have this lure, you're missing out on a lot of fun. During this half hour, we will convincingly demonstrate with logic and scientific fact that the all-new, totally lifelike banjo minnow can out fish every other fishing lure in existence today and will catch virtually every game fish known to man with over two million kits sold when introduced the banjo minnow just got better I'm Babe Winkleman, host of the TV show Good Fishing for the past 25 years and a fisherman for over 45 years. And believe me, in that time, I've seen it all. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably been real skeptical about any magic lures claiming to all but make fish jump right into your boat. I mean, let's get real, okay? So when asked to endorse such ridiculous claims of lures, I simply don't believe in. In the past, I've said thanks, but no thanks. My word and reputation mean too much to steer even a single angler wrong, end of sentence. But that's exactly why I'm standing here today, to tell you about a lure I truly do believe in, how I came to discover it, and how it's really changed the way I fish. It's called the banjo minnow, and I think for starters, I'll just let some of the footage speak for itself. Look at that thing, Mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a beauty. Down below you? Yep. Oh! Go the oh, other way, yeah. Mark. This footage was taken in the wild, not in a studio tank or private pond, but on large lakes where everyone can fish. Some of the most remarkable footage my crew has captured in over 20 years of making fishing shows. It was all literally made possible only because of the banjo minnow lure. Oh, did you see what he swallowed to? <laughs> Play me a song, Mr. Banjo. This lure is so effective that I could actually spot a fish in the shallows and know that I could bring the fish in and make them eat it almost every time. Think about that. That's even with the fish knowing we were there. Footies like this has never been seen anywhere else before. And I've done this over and over again, and it explains why you don't see other lures being pounded like this on any other show. Unless you can actually make a fish bite on cue, it's almost impossible to capture this kind of action. Only after I was able to convince myself that everything in the Banjo infomercial was true, that the Banjo minnow could actually make fish bite. Then I called and said I'd be happy to endorse it and help inform fishermen what an amazing lure it truly is. Banjo minnows work on virtually every game fish species in the world, and like I said, the footage speaks for itself. Now, later on in the show, I'll be talking with Wayne Hockmeyer, the originator of the amazing banjo minnow, and tell you the story of how I came to be a true believer, and I'll show you more of the original footage we took that totally convinced me. But right now, I want you to listen to Wayne Hockmeyer explain to his friend Ken Carey how and why the banjo minnow is so incredibly effective. What a beautiful fish. Wayne, some of the footage that you got was unbelievable. How did you get it? My problem has always been to do a show is to locate the fish. Once I locate the fish, 
the law will bring them up and allow me to get that footage. It's actually been one of the easiest things there is. The banjo minnow was specifically designed to perfectly mimic a wounded, injured, or crippled bait fish. It mimics it that perfectly. By removing the hook from the bait, it freed the minnow to come alive. It actually made plastic swim. In fact, all predators, it doesn't matter whether it's a wolf in Canada or a lion on the African plains or a bass in Lake Okeechobee, all predators are genetically programmed to recognize an injured prey and to attack it and go immediately after it. Because it's very simple. It is the greatest reward for the least amount of energy spent. What you're about to see is a dramatic demonstration of the power of genetic response. The water is cold, 57 degrees, and the bass are not feeding. The minnow you are watching is a healthy minnow, and the bass ignore it. We then put an injured minnow into the water. It struggled with a spastic action, and it triggers a genetic response from a bass. But the bass is not hungry and spits it out. This triggers another bass to grab it, but it too spits it out. Again, spastic action compels it to strike again and spit it out. We then introduced a banjo minnow into the water and mimicked the spastic action of a crippled or dying minnow. It immediately triggered a genetic response from a bass who inhaled it. Again and again, we cast banjo minnows into the tank and triggered the bass to bite. It is the ability to make inactive fish bite that separates the banjo minnow from all other fishing lures. Nobody has ever, ever tried to actually duplicate nature. Never made a bait or a lure that actually looked like a real fish or swam like a real fish or, more importantly, swam like a crippled or hurt fish. They cannot do it by using a repetitive or mechanical action. I and mean, you see it all the time. They, they do fishing commercials and the host says, oh, look at that super duper natural action. And you look at it, it doesn't look like a fish. It doesn't look at all like a fish. And it doesn't move like a fish. It doesn't have anything even remotely close to the action of a real fish, particularly an injured one. None of these things exist in nature. They will catch fish that are hungry. Fish are opportunists. Every fisherman has seen fish chase a bait, come right up, follow the bait, look at it, look at it, and turn around and go away. Turn around and go away. That's what makes the banjo minnow so different. It so perfectly duplicates a real fish. It just fools them, and it triggers a genetic response, and no other lure has even tried to do that. I mean, it's unique in that regard. It's a totally different type of lure. I love the action of the banjo minnow. The action was second to none. When you see that lure in the water, uh, you're going to get excited. It's doing things that other lures don't do. I'm a tournament fisherman, and I've seen a lot of fish caught, but I've never seen fish caught like this on, on this bait. This bait is unbelievable. The importance of making a bait that actually duplicates nature is emphasized by the inventor of the original jelly worm, Tom Mann. You know, a worm is only a small portion of a fish's diet. A minnow is the number one diet of all game fish in the world. Banjo minnow has come up with a real life-like minnow. Don't ever underestimate a fish's eyesight. They can tell a real from a fake. The banjo minnow, it looks live. The hook is on the outside. It's not hooked in to cut into the backbone to cut into the action. All you have to do is work your wrist. The banjo will do the rest. When you jerk it, it darts. It looks like a minnow. It'll do the right actions, and the fish is going to strike it. It catches more fish. I wish I'd invented it. The wounded cripple action of the banjo minnow has proved to be irresistible to virtually all game fish in the world. If it eats a minnow, the banjo minnow will catch it. I personally caught virtually all the freshwater species in North America. Largemouth from Florida to Texas, smallmouth in Maine, and even Lake Okeechobee crappie. I've taken king salmon in the Niagara River Gorge, and giant northern pike in Canada, along with walleye. And surprisingly, 
we the first jumping lake trout I've ever seen. I've taken both stripers and bluefish from the North Atlantic and most of the game fish off the coast of Florida, including backcountry snook, hundreds of barracuda, and a host of others, from tiny snapper to the king of all light tackle game fish, the mighty toppin in the Florida Keys. Here we come. Whoa. I have taken mackerel in the inlets, as well as this huge bull dorado. I have both casted and trolled for giant sailfish off the coast of Guatemala. No other fishing lure can make fish bite when they're not hungry. Until now. Introducing the all-new Banjo Fishing System, the world's first genetic response fishing lure. Now with more versatility and lifelike appearance than ever before. And it comes in this phenomenal 149-piece fishing system, which features 15 Banjo weedless hooks in three sizes. The patent-pending Banjo weedless nose hook is screwed directly into the front of the bait, creating both random directional action and random body movement that looks so lifelike that fish are compelled to bite. The design of the banjo weedless hook allows the bait to be completely weedless in a matter of seconds, so the bait can be thrown anywhere, in the trees, over logs, over the top of grass mats, with no more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The kit also includes 15 banjo corkscrews for attaching the bait to the hook, 60 banjo weed guards, 30 bait positioning o-rings, and our all-new glow-in-the-dark firefly minnows for fishing at night, in shadows, or in deep, dark water. For even more versatility, we're including the new El Cinco hooks. When hooked through the center, the minnow falls fast and gives off a struggling action that makes fish bite. We've also included six of our brand new banjo bungees. Use them as a drop shot rig to create incredible lifelike action on the bottom. And finally, 16 of the new and improved banjo minnows in four fantastic colors with more lifelike appearance and action than ever before. We guarantee you will outfish every lure ever made with a banjo minnow or your money back. Call now and order the all-new Banjo Fishing System and you'll get Catch the Big One, the how-to video that shows you tips and techniques on how to trigger genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. It's a $19.95 value, yours free, but you must call now. And listen to this. We'll send you eight more incredible lifelike banjo minnows and an additional banjo frog absolutely free, but you must call now. Be one of the next 500 callers and you'll also receive the all-new Banjo Big Fish Kit. The same larger Banjo Minnows Babe Winkleman uses to catch monster pike, bass, and other species all over the country. Absolutely free, but you must call now. This entire 168-piece all-new Banjo Fishing System is a $100 value and can be yours for only three payments of $19.95. But if you call in the next 20 minutes, we'll take off one entire payment. You only pay two payments of $19.95. Call toll-free 1-800-7 792-6644. That's 1-800-792-6644. You can also use your check just like a credit card. Don't wait another minute to make all your fishing trips great fishing trips with the Banjo Minnow. Call 1-800-792-6644 now. Babe, I approached you many years ago about the Banjo Minnow. When I thought originally, when you approached me, I thought this is another TV gimmick. Yeah, I've seen, I, I've been doing this for almost 50 years, I've been professionally fishing for 35, and I've seen about everything, and it just was one of those things, I thought, it's a gimmick, I don't want to mess with my credibility or anything, and it was my ignorance, I didn't know, I'd never fished the bait, it just looked like one of those things, you know what yeah. I mean? Well, it was a TV lure. Yeah, exactly, it was a TV lure, but you and I have both seen a lot of TV lures come onto the uh, marketplace over the last number of years, and most of them have been gimmicks. How did you become interested in the banjo minnow? Well, we're in an area and there's a lot of pike in there. And we can see some really big pike, but they weren't hitting. So after about two hours, I left with the camera crew to go to another spot. And Mike, uh, my partner, stayed there. Well, I come back about two hours later because I hadn't seen him. And I said, Mike, how are you doing? He said, we've caught about every big fish here. And I said, what do you mean? On what? And he held up this one banjo minnow and it had been just sh shredded by pike. And I said, well, give me one. He said, I only got one. He said, Bob and I have been taking turns catching fish. He said, watch this. And he cast the thing out. And bang, he had a fish about 22 pounds. That was the only banjo minnow we had between all of us. It got cut in half by the teeth of the pike. Uh, that's when I called you and I said, Wayne, send me up a bunch of baits. I want to start playing with this thing. I want to find out, does this really work? Is this real or is this another gimmick? Was that a fluke? And boy, I can't tell you the stuff we found out. There are times that I've also found when a banjo minnow will work. You got him. That's her. When nothing else will. 
And that's the part that amazed me. What we could do with this bait is we could bake pike, eat it. Eat it, not strike it, <laughs> eat it. Where they would not move or touch any other bait. Come and pick it right off the bottom and swallow it. I was up to a lake called Anadai here a number of years ago. We couldn't get them to bite anything. And I drug out a banjo minnow. And I mean, you'd watch them come up off the bottom and eat it. I probably caught more pike over 20 pounds than anybody in North America. I maybe caught 3,000 of them. I've really worked at it for years. And when I can take a bait that on a kind of fish I'm that good with, and it'll do something that no other bait has ever done for me, yeah, you darn right I'll get excited about it. They work. I got tackle bags full of three, four hundred dollars of lures, and every time I go fishing, it's with the banjo minnow. I fish quite a bit with the with the banjo minnow because it catches fish. It catches all kinds of fish. Just amazing. It's amazing action to it. The lifelike action it has, the similarity to the bait fish in the area, and just turned me on to it. That was a steelhead. I caught that in Niagara River, and that was about 19 pounds. This is what I've caught probably thousands of fish on. This is a 32-inch uh, northern pike caught in Wisconsin. We released it, and hopefully somebody else will catch them another day, maybe on a banjo minnow again. Wayne, I know that you weren't just trying to make a fishing lure just to sell. You were a tournament fisherman. You needed to win tournaments. I was actually a fishing guide and a tournament fisherman, and I worked and developed the bait to win tournaments. I won uh, so many tournaments with it, and I was making a lot of money, and it was wonderful winning tournaments. The people who would fish against me or my partners, I mean, everybody just said, Wayne, you've got to sell this bait. And I, I, quite honestly, I didn't want to. I, I didn't want everybody else to have it. <laughs> but eventually, I said, I'm being stupid. It's a great product, and TV was the the only medium we could use to actually demonstrate it because our claims and and everything we were, had to say about it were not, would not be believable. You had to see it. It just has been enormously successful. People say, I had my doubts, but it was so convincing I bought it, and they come back and they tell me, they go, it is just exactly what you said in your show, in your infomercial. It is what you say it is, and it is, it truly is. Here's the proof right here. I have a six pound, 10 ounce largemouth, caught it on a banjo minnow, and if you're still skeptics, you're crazy. I've seen other soft plastic baits that were supposed to be like, do the same thing that the banjo minnow does. No comparison, no comparison whatsoever. I have to produce every single day in order to have a repeat clientele, and the banjos help me produce big fish and consistently. That's what I'm looking for. We have to put lures in the water that are going to catch fish. If they don't catch fish, my phone doesn't ring. On my very first cast, it was just like an explosion. Very, it, it was so exciting because I did not at that time have any confidence in the lure. I never fished it. I've caught fish with it. I mean, they just explode on this lure. And I'm talking uh, redfish and trout. I'm absolutely sold on that banjo minnow now. <laughs> In order to prove that the banjo minnow catches fish anywhere, Wayne and I went to a small urban lake in Southern California that is very heavily fished by dozens of boats using every imaginable fishing lure. Our angler was 14-year-old Joey Caparuccio, a local boy who'd never used the banjo minnow before. We gave him three hours to see how many big fish he could catch. <laughs> fishermen know you could fish all summer to catch just one of these large bass. Joey's catch of three big fish in less than three hours on a lake like this demonstrates the amazing ability of the banjo minnow to catch fish virtually anywhere. I think it's an awesome bait. It's good action. The fish love it. Now you can make fish bite even when they're not hungry. Call the number on your screen now and order the all-new 149-piece banjo fishing system featuring unbelievable lifelike appearance, action, and versatility. The new banjo fishing system features 15 banjo weedless hooks in three sizes, 15 banjo corkscrews, 
60 banjo weed guards, 30 bait positioning O-rings, and our all-new glow-in-the-dark Firefly minnows for fishing at night, in shadows, or in deep, dark water. For even more versatility, we're including the new Elcinco hooks. When hooked through the center, the minnow falls fast and gives off a struggling action that makes fish bite. We've also included six of our brand new banjo bungees. Use them as a drop shot rig to create incredible lifelike action on the bottom. And finally, 16 of the new and improved banjo minnows in four fantastic colors with more lifelike appearance and action than ever before. Call now and order the all-new banjo fishing system and you'll get Catch the Big One, the how-to video that shows you tips and techniques on how to trigger genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. It's a $19.95 value, yours free, but you must call now. For a limited time, we'll send you eight more incredible lifelike banjo minnows and an additional banjo frog absolutely free. Be one of the next 500 callers and you'll also receive the all-new Banjo Big Fish Kit. The same larger Banjo Minnows Babe Winkleman uses to catch monster pike, bass, and other species all over the country. Absolutely free, but you must call now. This entire 168-piece all-new Banjo Fishing System is a $100 value and can be yours for only three payments of $19.95. But if you call in the next 10 minutes, we'll take off one entire payment. You only pay two payments of $19.95. Call toll-free 1-800-792-6644. That's 1-800-792-6644. You can also use your check just like a credit card. Don't wait another minute to make all your fishing trips great fishing trips with the Banjo Minnow. Call 1-800-792-6644 now. The banjo minnow definitely works. You've got to try it. I caught white bass, stripers, largemouth, and smallmouth. The banjo minnow is my confidence lure, and it will produce every time. It's awesome. Wayne, both you and I know people are skeptical, and I think it's good to be skeptical. What would you say to them? I develop what I call the banjo challenge. A anybody who wants to ch challenge what I say is true. You come to Maine, you fish shoulder to shoulder with me in the front of my boat for eight hours. You use another type of lure, I use the banjo minnow. At the end of the day, the person who catches the least fish pays the winner $10,000. So when somebody tells you it's just a TV lure, it's just a stupid lure, it's no good, you tell them they should go right up to Maine and get some of that easy money they're giving away up there. This lure is what we say it is. It will outfish any other lure in existence. And the Banjo Challenge is our way of proving it. Fortunately, I'm not the only one who has had tremendous success catching fish with the Banjo Minnow. I have received literally thousands of letters and pictures from people from all over the world who write to tell me how much they love the Banjo Minnow. We went out one day and we were fishing this area where there was so much fishing pressure in this area that these fish had seen all these different lures. I mean, we were just frustrated because we could not get them to hit. So I, I pulled out the banjo minnow and on my third cast, I caught that muskie and it was 50 inches and 32 pounds. If I was to be given a choice when I have one lure to fish with, I'd take the banjo minnow over anything. It's some of the best fishing systems out there you can buy. I'm standing here in the Florida Keys in Key Largo in Florida Bay and I've just spent the day with Captain Mike Haynes and we went out on the flats to see how many different species of fish we could catch. When I had called Mike to take me out to get footage of catching different species, he told me that the water was so hot and the fishing was so slow that we would be lucky to catch even one fish. Come on. We started the day with a Jack Crevel and then spotted a large snook cruising the flat. He rushed the bait and after a five minute battle, we had our second fish of the day. Oh, whoa. <laughs> our third fish was a very nice barracuda. I then caught a bonnet shot, which are very difficult to catch on an artificial lure. The fifth fish was another Jack and then I caught a small snapper. An injured minnow retrieve on the surface fooled the topper, and after a struggle, he became our seventh fish to end a great day of fishing. The banjo minnow uh, proved it again. It's one of the greatest, if not the best, lure thrown in the uh, fish, especially when you're sight fishing them. Uh, the fish were sprinting them down from five, ten yards away, which you just don't see with other lures, and even live bait for that matter. And I, uh, it's become my favorite lure, and if I've got people on the water that want to fish it and if they don't produce, I, uh, I don't charge them. That's how much I believe in this lure.
And so does Harry Vanderweet, editor of the Maine Sportsman and host of the Northeast Journal Fishing Show. When he travels to get footage for his show, he has to catch fish. That's why he relies on the banjo minnow. Oh, he's coming. He got it. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Look at the size of this fish. Three casts, three pike. What we're using for lure here is that banjo minnow. This is a good size one for pike, and that's a pretty good size pike. I have to admit, my favorite lure is the banjo minnow. This lure, for shallow water situations, I can't imagine how anything can be any better. What a way to catch a giant pike. <laughs> I've watched infomercials. I wasn't going to buy them. I thought it was a gimmick and all of this. But when I was on the lake in a tough bite in a boat with a friend of mine, and he took out the banjo minnow, and he outfished me, he taught me a lesson real quick. <laughs> now I own banjo minnows. <laughs> it's that simple. Try it. The banjo minnow catches fish. You know, I wouldn't attach myself to anything that didn't work for me or that I didn't completely believe in. So when I proved it to myself that the banjo minnow system works just like they promised, I can tell you with confidence, don't wait another minute to order your own all-new banjo minnow fishing system right now. No other fishing lure can make fish bite when they're not hungry. Until now. Introducing the all-new Banjo Fishing System, the world's first genetic response fishing lure. Now with more versatility and lifelike appearance than ever before. And it comes in this phenomenal 149-piece fishing system, which features 15 Banjo weedless hooks in three sizes. The patent-pending Banjo weedless nose hook is screwed directly into the front of the bait, creating both random directional action and random body movement that looks so lifelike that fish are compelled to bite. The design of the banjo weedless hook allows the bait to be completely weedless in a matter of seconds, so the bait can be thrown anywhere, in the trees, over logs, over the top of grass mats, with no more fear of fishing where the big ones are. The kit also includes 15 banjo corkscrews for attaching the bait to the hook, 60 banjo weed guards, 30 bait positioning o-rings, and our all-new glow-in-the-dark firefly minnows for fishing at night, in shadows, or in deep, dark water. For even more versatility, we're including the new El Cinco hooks. When hooked through the center, the minnow falls fast and gives off a struggling action that makes fish bite. We've also included six of our brand new banjo bungees. Use them as a drop shot rig to create incredible lifelike action on the bottom. And finally, 16 of the new and improved banjo minnows in four fantastic colors with more lifelike appearance and action than ever before. We guarantee you will outfish every lure ever made with a banjo minnow or your money back. Call now and order the all-new Banjo Fishing System and you'll get Catch the Big One, the how-to video that shows you tips and techniques on how to trigger genetic response so you can catch more and bigger fish. It's a $19.95 value, yours free, but you must call now. And listen to this, we'll send you eight more incredible lifelike banjo minnows and an additional banjo frog absolutely free, but you must call now. Be one of the next 500 callers and you'll also receive the all-new Banjo Big Fish Kit. The same larger banjo minnows Babe Winkleman uses to catch monster pike, bass, and other species all over the country. Absolutely free, but you must call now. This entire 168-piece all-new banjo fishing system is a $100 value and can be yours for only three payments of $19.95. But if you call in the next five minutes, we'll take off one entire payment. You only pay two payments of $19.95. Call toll-free 1-800-792-6644. That's 1-800-792-6644. You can also use your check just like a credit card. Don't wait another minute to make all your fishing trips great fishing trips with the Banjo Minnow. Call 1-800-792-6644 now. The preceding program has been a paid presentation for the all-new Banjo Fishing System.